was great. Okay, stand by. Ready, stand by. Take one. Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, what are we going to taste today? With your host, David K, a special guest in Somalia. Spend some time on Hollywood and wine. It's time for Hollywood and wine. Welcome to another episode of Hollywood and Wine. My name is David Kay. I'm in the voiceover industry and I love wine. And because I'm in the voiceover industry and I get a chance to work in cartoons, I get a chance to interview and talk to some of my favorite people and I've worked with them before. And one of the top in the business is here with us tasting wine today. Kari Walgren is here. Do you get a round of applause from everyone? Thank you. should be in studio audience. Shall we dance, good sir? You two are not allowed to kill each other. No grandmother can resist. The show's too predictable. It's a dream come true. I I'm ready to begin now. I am honor bound as a knight to do the same. Haru haru haruko. I like it. So, uh, what are you feeling right now? Are you are you nervous? Are you excited? What's the? I am so excited. Yeah. I'm I'm trying like I'm trying to act. You know, there's something very civilized we think about wine, <laughs> and everything in me just wants to be going. Yeah. Whee! Yeah, like that's how I'm feeling about today. This is this is a this is a dream. So wine, a great wine makes you think. There are lots of things, nine different reasons why what makes a great wine. We're going to get to maybe a couple of them today because we have our own psalm. Hello, hi, Carrie. Nice to meet and you. It's Kari. It's Kari. Like oh, yeah. It's Kari. Oh, for, Kari. Oh, for crying out loud! I can always just pour you alcohol, and then that'll make up for every mistake that I do. You can say how you want. So, where are you? What's your heritage? So I'm, I'm mostly mostly Swedish. Actually, my my uh, grandfather actually immigrated over from Sweden. So uh, very Swedish. A little bit of Irish. Apparently, okay. the Irish uh, family members immigrated over too, and one of them actually fell off the ship. Wow. Got very drunk and fell off the ship. Uh, in that respect, this is kind of cool because we brought our special Riesling glasses out from Riedel at the Green Stem for the Irish. Nice. And what's inside is a Riesling from New York State. Long Island, they've won gold medals and a bunch of medals for this Riesling. It's a dry, not a sweet or, it's, you know, but it's a dry Riesling and it's called Swedish Hell. <gasps> so it's a bit of an ode to your heritage and we thought we'd start with Riesling. Now we have to, uh, to, to get some of the cheese. I can put so it right we, here in the middle. We can you put guys. it in the middle, okay? Thank you. So first of all, let's just salute. All right. Thank you for being here. Salute. 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 And now we'll have our first taste. It's okay. from the Finger Lakes. Uh, the Finger Lakes up in New York State is the most prime region for growing uh, great varietals up in the Northeast. Uh, that nice, cool climate, kind of similar to Germany, where Riesling is mostly well known, uh, yeah. the Alsace area in France, grows really, really well up there. Um, you're able to get that nice, fresh acidity in there, but the acid not right any there. kind of kind of sweet notes or anything like that. Which great I, cheese food. Sweet. I'm not a sweet person either. People yeah. think so, but I, no, I'm much more dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I like my wines dry too. Uh, and, and she's a rock and roller. <laughs> I'm wow. not usually okay. a Riesling fan. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, the common misconceptions with Riesling as well is that everybody thinks that it's a dessert wine or it's a sweet wine. Riesling, at its core, is actually a really dry grape varietal. There's six different levels, so at the beginning it's called a cabinet Riesling with a K. Uh, it's actually a very, very dry Riesling, and yes. that's what this is. Yes, German wines are all based on on sweetness and dryness. It's, it's, you can have a sweet, dry. You can have a, 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 a Spatlese, Auslese, the Biernachlese, mm -hmm. Trocken Biernachlese. They're all mm -hmm. levels of sweetness. And then you get the right? ice wine. Ice wine, if you've ever heard, ice is wine is is Riesling. Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now you've learned about Riesling. We have something special for you. Surprise. Plan. A surprise. A surprise. A small surprise. Go try it, Maria. All right. Can you bring our surprise in, please? Uh oh. We can just stop the show now, and I'm just going to drink a whole glass. All right, stop. Right, stop. This this cheese, and uh, I'm good. I'm good. good. Peace good. out, everybody. So we have a special it's surprise really for you good. today. His name is D. Bradley. Hey. 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 
They hired a clown. Come in. Come in. <laughs> How's it going? Hi, how are you? Pearson, yeah. crazy man of voiceover, oh. one of the top oh. male voices ever oh. here. Okay. This is mine. I'm taking my here. wine with me. Uh, G, you can go in the middle. Okay. Although D might really want to try this. This is our uh, our song, Pearson Ryan, our song to the stars. Oh, we have a song. And, yes. <laughs> your own personal song. I only song, song blue. Oh. Do anything you would do normal. Mm -hmm. Well. Anything. <laughs> That's mine. Okay. That's mine. All right. I'm, uh, I've kept a very close eye on it. So we, we thought, um, have you worked together? What shows have you worked together before you worked together? Oh, yeah. We worked a lot oh, yeah. together. Yeah. We, uh, What's we, one of the biggest, the, the funnest moments, the, the memories, what show? The, the very first time I met Dee was on an episode of um, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Oh, I love that show. Oh, yeah. And, and he, <laughs> yes. played, he played a very um, laconic cow on a milk carton. Yeah. How did he sound? Is. Uh, Billy. He just, he talked like this. Yeah. Like, drink me, Billy. Drink me now. <laughs> sort of voice like that. Yeah. Uh, who were you on, uh, Billy? Uh, I was Velma Green, the Spider Queen. <laughs> I think she was just something like this and I curse you, children. <laughs> now, the next part, uh, you're going to want to see this because we have a, a Kari, uh, you mentioned to me, I, I, I sort of asked what wines you like and don't like, and, and, and uh, uh, there's a, there's a, a wine we want you to try. It's okay. it's a beautiful wine. It's uh, a new world wine, so it's served up. So we're gonna take it right here. How would you like me to uh, 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 to, to do the uh... switch? Can we pick it up? Where can we pick it up from? That was perfect. So yes, Maria's brought the chicken in, and and we just finished the riesling. Now you have an option here. We have, do have a, a a dump bucket, spit bucket. What do you call these things? What's the official word? Dump bucket, spit dump bucket, bucket, whichever one is. Dump dumber. bucket, spit bucket, <laughs> make me a man. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Uh, so the, the second wine, now, uh, we were getting Kari, the, uh, I said, what kind of wines you like, don't like? And as soon as someone says they don't like something, I go, all right. Challenge is on. That's right. Yes. <laughs> oh. So, uh, Pierce is going to bring in the second wine. I should, please. I should dump first. Yes, dump bucket. Yes. Goodbye, my friend. I will. Goodbye. <laughs> pour, pour it in there with your hopes and dreams. Yeah. Being in, in the studio and I hear crickets and I'm thinking, are they hearing that? Is there something? And I'm looking around. How in the world? Uh, now you just need to learn cicadas. Captured a cicada in my hand once. It flew into my hand. That was like that was the golden goose of bugs for me. <laughs> that was that was that was. But also, so. also. Oh, it's a Chardonnay. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I just drank popcorn. <laughs> what? You just drank popcorn? <laughs> if you like buttery popcorn types of Chardonnays, this one's really good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I should have helped. Just don't be sorry. Look, wine is just like food. They obviously, they obviously go together, but everybody's palate is different. Yes. If you don't like it, it's fine. I could tell you this is the best wine in the world. It's rated this and this and this, but if you don't like it, you don't like it. It's fine. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. There's no yeah. problem. Did you like it? I, I like it. I, I prefer the Riesling. I, I don't know why, yeah. because I, I'm a really uneducated drinker. That's totally the best fine. kind. Yes. You can definitely taste. Uh, it has a little bit of the oak Asian on it with the yeah. malolactic fermentations. Uh, Oregon has a very similar climate to Burgundy. It has that nice kind of cooler climate with all the, um, you know, the uh, the mountain ranges and things like that. You get that cool moisture and the fog that comes down and cools off the grape as a night. So it's a really, really quality, quality place to grill Pinot and Chardonnay. This is very interesting because. You're sort of drinking a story, aren't you? That's the whole point of wine. Wine is all about story. Oh, okay. And it's, when, when, you, when you get a bottle, you go, well, who's that and where's that from? And you start going, especially in, in Burgundy, in some of those, like uh, um, a Clos Vauger, a Clos Vauger, it's like you know, there's 80 different people that own it. And it goes back to the, uh, the Cistery monks. Yes. Um, you know, it goes way back to them. That's sort of the I, where it all comes from, beer and wine. The monks had a lot to do with that way back, they recognized. Well, they were bored. They, they needed something. Yeah, yeah that's that wonderful. Something. You know, in the church would buy the wine. They in a monastery all the time. They have to drink something. Yeah, exactly. I haven't worked for a monastery. So <laughs> yeah. 
Nice one. So before, now before we get rid of the shark, I just want you to try. There's chicken with rosemary, roasted chicken. And there is cauliflower, which also goes very good with a bit of caramelization with the Chardonnay. So this will change what, you, uh, what the wine tastes like. My wife made the, the polenta and the chicken. She's just amazing. Um, I don't know what in the world I'd do without her. Uh, sit in a dark room, I think, and drink wine. That would be it. <laughs> and not with really amazing polenta. No, no. Now, I have a, I have a, a question from the heart of my ignorance. Um, so I know that, like, oh, that, that chicken is just marvelous. Yeah. Now, taste it with the, sh with the, the Chardonnay from Oregon. Good. Now this because it's a very French style. People say French style. Uh, Pearson, when they say French style, what does that mean? They don't normally oak age a lot of their wines. They do more of that kind of creamy, kind of malolactic fermentation, but a cool climate. Uh, they pick the grapes usually pretty early. Uh, but does does white wine decay? Depending on the grape varietal. I mean, the wines that you really want to decant and let age are the thicker skin grape ones. So Cabernet, Nebbiolo, Merlot. Well, what if it's a blend? Well, then what do you do? Uh, blend, blends, uh, you know, outside of Pinot and Burgundy, I always decant. I mean, I decant everything. If you can, it's not going to hurt it. Um, before we get on to the next uh, wine, um, uh, two of you, uh, I'll ask you, Kari, your, your favorite role. It's a, it's a broad question, and it's tough to answer, but favorite role. Oh, man. You know, I get uh, I get asked that question a lot, and it's uh, yeah. a, a really difficult one. Um, I would say one of my sentimental favorites, uh, when I first moved out to Los Angeles, um, I, you know, just looked at this ad in a paper and they were looking for voice actors and I went and auditioned for it and it ended up being, um, Haruko in an anime called FLCL and, uh, it became such a cult hit that just last year, uh, Adult Swim on Cartoon Network actually made two more seasons of it. And uh, so it's it's crazy, you know, it's one of those full circle kind of things where you start out doing a project and, and it becomes such a, a part of of you and and uh, what you're known for and then you know years and years later it comes back around and wow d you um uh let's see it's uh it's probably the most creatively satisfying to do something like uh last airbender uh oh. the creatures on that for nickelodeon oh. i really love doing that um just uh, the the happiness of the kid inside of me is is doing Star Wars stuff, the <laughs> Clone Wars and that sort of thing. Uh, and then just for the the sheer thrill is is to be Daffy Duck. I mean that that in Space Jam was really that was really fun. And um, can you can, can you give, I, I I hate to ask can you give us a little bit because I'm gonna start spraying all over. I I, I, I want a complete <laughs> mess of all of this if I start doing Daffy Duck. No. It's you, you know, just picked the spittiest. No, I did, and I did that on purpose. Can we have a spit bucket? We have a spit bucket. Oh, yeah, okay. Spit bucket. <laughs> That's sort of fun. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's so spitty. I'm sorry. It's don't it's be sorry. It, what an amazing world this is. And he's 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 the best. These these guys are un unbelievably talented. And. Um, Pearson, you're talented too. Oh, thank you. Oh. One day we're gonna have to bring out the picture of uh, uh, your headshot. My uh, Steven Seagal. Yes, man. yes. Okay, so because Dee Bradley Baker's here, we have to have a wine for for Dee. Uh, he was so gracious to, to be here today. So we brought something. Uh, bring it in here. Copan Baker Ranch. Baker from Ranch. Mr. Bradley Baker Dee here. That's right, pros from Baker Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's uh, Anderson Valley Syrah. Uh, the Anderson Valley is. Uh, just north of Healdsburg in Sonoma County. Do you know where Syrah is originated from and most famous? Doris Day? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> okay, Syrah, Syrah. That's it. I like to say a really great Syrah is you see, you know, Wiley Coyote smelling the, the pie that's on the windowsill. He's like floating towards it. Yeah, that's the This is very interesting to me because this is all about adjectives. Yeah. And, and really specific descriptions. And what we do as voice actors, uh, for me, it, 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 that's really vital. If you get a lock on the right adjective or the right descriptor for the sentence that you're about to read, mm -hmm. and they say, that's it. Yes. And then it's easy. Is, is that 
you can just read the word and it's like, well, I don't know, that's kind of generic. I don't know what that means. It's like, no, but then you add the story beforehand that leads up to it. Yes. And then you add where that leads to. And then it all connects together. Yeah, yeah you yeah. connect it together, and then suddenly you have this fully dimensional thing that, that we create and then we put out there. That's wine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that that's what this reminds that's me of? Well, that's the thing. I mean, and there's a lot of bad wine in the world as well. So there's some bad cartoons. Yeah, bad cartoons. Yes. Really, really helps. You know, it, it it changes how you taste it, how you experience it. Yeah, that's true. Well, and it definitely gives you, I think, an appreciation for what you're tasting when you have a little bit more of the the backstory. Um, we got to end it there. We've, we've gone over today, but, but I want to thank you both for being here. This is really, oh, this is really wonderful. Really thank you so much. And Pearson, again. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I oh mean, my gosh. Thank you. Double pound. Yeah. I, I Daniel Ross. You can, you can, too. It's okay. Yeah, it Daniel works. Ross, the Jack, Daniel. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here on Hollywood and Wine. We'll see you next time for more great juice and more great food. Take care. <laughs> and we're up. Carlos, <laughs> 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 so good. It makes yes. me want to drink more.